Hey everyone, this video is part of our blockchain in 30 days challenge. In this video, we are going to set up some basic stuff for our upcoming tutorials. This includes setting up our dev environment, getting familiar with some basic keywords and more. Before we start this video, consider following us on Twitter. We will post all of the announcements regarding this challenge there, so you can stay up to date with that as well as tweet your progress at us. We would love to know about that. Let's get into the video. First of all, for the initial part of this challenge, we are going to be using Remix IDE. It is a free browser based IDE that you can use to compile and deploy your Solidity code. It is easy to use and beginner friendly. We already have a detailed video on how to navigate the Remix IDE, so you can go check that out. Link will be in the description as well as a card should be on the top right of the screen. Now, our second task is to set up a sample contract. For this, in the file explorer, we go ahead and create a new file. Name it whatever you would like, we are calling it tutorial and end it with .sol extension. Now we have created our solidity file. We need to start defining our contract but before that there are a couple of things we need to take care of. On top of the file, we add a commented line with double front slash. Here we define the license of the source file using spdx license identifier followed by the license name. You can choose whichever open source license you'd like. For example, if we choose MIT license, it would look like spdx license identifier MIT. If you don't want to define a license or the source file isn't open source, put the license name as unlicensed. Next, we need to define the version trackbar. This ensures that your file only compiles for a particular version or a range of solidity versions you define. Pragma is always local to the file and multiple files would require you to add Pragma to each. You define version Pragma as Pragma Solidity followed by the version. Let's take a look at some common symbols used while defining version Pragma. Caret 0.8.1 This would mean that the code does not compile for compiler versions less than 0.8.1 and 0.9.0 or greater. This is achieved using the caret symbol. Next, greater than 0.8.1, this would mean that the code only compiles for versions greater than 0.8.1. Finally, less than 0.8.1, this would mean that code only compiles for versions less than 0.8.1. Writing the version without any symbols could result in code compiling only for that exact version. There are many more complex ranges that you can define and the rules are the same as that for NPM. Next, we need to define a contract. A file can contain multiple contracts and name of the file does not need to match the contract name. To define a contract, we write the keyword contract followed by the contract name and curly braces. The rest of your code will go inside the curly braces. To import another source file on Remix from GitHub, you would do import and the URL of the source file in double quotes. This is going to import all global symbols from that file. This means anything, for example any function or variable globally defined, meaning which is accessible to the entire file is now available in the scope of this file. To use it in your contract, you would then have to inherit the contract into your new contract, which along with scope is a topic for a later video. You can import source file from other sources like npm or ipfs, the method is pretty similar. Along with that, there's a lot more you can do with importing, like adding aliases or importing specific symbols. You can check out the documentation to know more about how these specific cases work. Link for the same would be in the description. Finally, let's talk about comments. To comment out a single line, you would use double slash and for multiple line, you will use slash and star. Commenting makes it easier for other developers to onboard and get started. With this, we are done for this video. If you found this video helpful, consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel and we will see you next time.